Welcome to Community Presbyterian Church and our Gospel Box Story Time for November 1st, 2020. God, I need to talk to you about school. God, I need to talk to you about school. Written by Susan K. Lee, pictures by Bill Clark. Dear God, I don't like school, and I don't want to go anymore. I don't want to go because I'm not very good at school. Other kids are better. Sometimes I just don't understand things. Apply your heart to instruction and your ear to words of knowledge from Proverbs 23, verse 12. Mom said that everybody has to go to school. She said there's no other way. She asked me what the problem was. I told her that Caitlin made fun of me because I didn't know the math answers, and she did. That's why I don't want to go to school anymore. I told her that Mrs. Cooper helps me at recess. I don't want to stay in at recess. I want to go outside to play with my friends. Mom said she was sorry about Caitlin. She said it was a good that Mrs. Cooper was helping me and she and dad would help me too. And she said she was certain that I would catch on. And that made me feel better. From scripture we hear, know that wisdom is such to your soul. If you find it, there will be a future. Also from Proverbs verse 20, chapter 24, verse 14. Mom said, I can pray to you. Anytime I feel upset about school, she said that would help me feel better so I can focus on learning. I know that will work because you always hear our prayers in Jesus' name. So Lord, would you help me enjoy school more? Would you help me learn? I guess I'll try school again. I'll listen closely and pay attention. I won't let Caitlin bother me. I'll pray to you when I feel upset, and I'll remember that Jesus loves me and forgives me. Thank you, God. Thank you for hearing me. Amen. A little girl in her story was struggling with school. School for us right now is very different. Some of the students are struggling just like that little girl. Many of the teachers are struggling like the students and like the other teachers. Everything is different, but we still take the time to learn. And if we put our faith and our trust in God during these difficult times, we will learn and we will be able to lead others in the way that they may need to go. Take the time to work at school, Work at home, whichever way your schooling is going. And take the time to be a leader among your friends, among your family. Don't be the one who's always got a problem. Try to be the one who helps others with their problems. Let's have a few words of prayer, and then together we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we know things are different. School is different. Work is different. Home is different. But help us to be your leaders, showing others the way to trust you, to love you, to share that love with others around us, even those that are struggling. Help us be your followers as we lead others towards you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. 
And together, let's join in the words that Jesus taught us all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you again soon.